Today, we are trying 90s style from Fashion Nova. This is the 90s the way it was supposed to be done. I'm sucking in so hard right now. Sun. Oh my god, like you would break your neck if you wore that to school. Oh, I like it! I'm the millennial! Hi, you guys, welcome back to Clever Style. You guys, if you are shopping literally anywhere these days, you know that the 90s fashion is making a comeback in a big way. TikTokers, Gen Zers, they love to think that these trends are brand new. What they don't know is that we were all doing them before they were even born. How old are you? But for real, you guys know I love some like early 2000s, late 90s nostalgia. So I have actually taken over today's episode and I picked out some 90s fashion for all of us today from our favorite Fashion Nova. And we are gonna be exploring a couple different rounds. We have five different rounds today. I love it when we shop for each other. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, up first we have this little uh, round. We have our silk bandana tops, some 90s boyfriend grunge jeans, and we couldn't let this round go without this a uh, uh, questionable gold butterfly necklace. Butterflies, I guess, in the 90s were just... I feel, what is that? It Was it like a Lisa Frank thing? Did she introduce it? Maybe like or a Britney Spears, Spears thing. Yeah. Like, it represented purity. You gotta be kidding. I actually really love these jeans. They're a little short on me, but they do really feel like 90s grunge. Mm -hmm. they, they definitely like cinch at the waist. They go out kind of in that boyfriendy vibe. This scarf top is not my fave. Like I just don't know why I thought this was a vibe. Maybe because it would kind of gave me like the grunge look altogether. The bandana top was very like actually like hip and trendy in the 90s. And mm. also like a, something that everybody was doing. I just don't like the length. Like the length is meeting the pants in a weird yeah. way. Like yeah. the length of this had it been maybe a little shorter, like I could see being kind of cuter. But um, yeah, but you like it, Erin? I love this top. I think it's so cute. I also love full shirts. Can't really. <laughs> I love this color. I think I like it better with the jeans that I'm wearing. By the way, the jeans did not fit me back there. Yeah, they very tight jeans. They're very, very, They're very so small. tight. I'm sucking in so hard right now. Size up if you guys do get this. Maybe up by two because literally, I think the waist is so small. Like it might have fit me in the butt, but the waist was literally like this big. Anyway, so I think with maybe a different jean, this top would be better. But I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this it's, again. It's good quality. Like the top, if you like tops like. So so much judgment in the room. No! But I like it! I'm the millennial! Just let me have this. All right, so clearly these are very like stereotypical 90s pieces, right? I think maybe you, this is the best round for me because I know you right. picked these with 90s and our styles in mind. Maybe this is actually my style. I've had a style awakening and I love this shirt so much. The whole thing about the 90s, this bandana silk shirt was that it was a bandana. They just didn't give an F. They literally yeah. wrapped it around with a bandana. It was hot. It's a hot top. Yeah, 100%. This is like PG. I'm getting emotional. I really <laughs> like this shirt. You know what? Uh, How about you take all of ours and then you have three and then you never ever have to worry about not having a clean one. <laughs> you got to. All right, you guys, outfit number two is a very fun 90s inspired look. We have a neon yellow long sleeve butterfly moment. And then these shorts are definitely different than what I thought, but they are these kind of actually more current asymmetrical type of shorts. And then we were discussing that these shoes are very Spice Girls meets Candies meets Skechers, Moon Shoes. Yeah. This is the look, y'all. How do you feel? I don't hate this at all. Again, I don't know necessarily how 90s I feel it is. I appreciate this a little bit more because it's more to the inspiration from and not being so on the nose because I actually do think that they were more like down, they were like long as hell in the 90s. Yeah. So kind of dorky looking. So I just, I, I actually like this. I think they took a little bit of inspiration. I definitely had shoes like this. I still kind of have shoes like this. Let's be real. I have plenty of dad sneakers. This yeah. is like dad sneakers. I can't wear them version. another moment. I can't wear them another moment. Uncomfy? Not another moment. Not another, <laughs> another moment. They're too, my toes are cramping. They're too, Ooh, they're small too, and hurt. I'm sorry, my nipples are out. What the hell is going on over there? I don't love yellow and I never go for butterflies, but obviously like their 90s page was a lot of butterflies, but I thought it was really fun. It gives you an area to purposely tie it up. The shorts on me, we were laughing because our size is only one size off, but like mine are just like these huge down to the floor like basketball player shorts. Yeah. These are my new gardening what? shorts yeah. for sure. Yeah, they got a nice bend in them. She was practicing digging. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Freeze frame! I love this outfit. I think it's super cute. I think the shoes 
suck. These are size 10. I have nine and a half, 10 feet, I have big feet. These are size 10. These are literally a size like seven and a half. I could not wear them a second longer. That's crazy. Cause I'm wearing a nine and like they fit Me fine. Too. I just think that there's, they're really like hollow feeling in there. Yeah. Like they weigh like Spacious. 300 pounds and I can't like move in them. So they're trash. Get that careful. Burn, burn. I feel like I would actually like these shorts better with like a different shirt, maybe yeah. like a little tank top or just something simple because I really like shorts like this. I really love the shorts a lot. I like my whole outfit. If you couldn't see my areolas <laughs> and if my toes weren't cranking. Dang, should I be covering my areolas a little more than <laughs> There's a shading there, but like nothing. Aaron's was like, out and proud. I know, yeah. they're strong. I, they're str <gasps> one of my best characteristics. Hot take but I like your confidence. All right, you guys, this is our 90s sort of clueless inspired round. We have a little cropped cardigan, a plaid mini skirt, and um, we all have our own little choice of footwear. Now, this was the outfit that I think you would probably see in those like 90s teen movies, as if they'd be wearing this to high school. Right, especially with the shoes. The shoes, the shoes. for sure. And it was like, oh my God, like you would break your neck if you wore that to school. And also would like get pregnant. <laughs> you will get pregnant and die. I will say like the schoolgirl vibe definitely was a thing that started in the 90s. Like totally. being a sexy schoolgirl or like these little cardigans and things like that. It's something I actually kind of appreciate yeah. to be honest with you. But I do, plus. yeah, I do appreciate the idea of taking like very basic pieces like cardigans and white shirts and making them like yeah. things that we use as uniforms on girls and making them kind of sexy. Like I think there's a lot of fun there. It's very timeless like that plaid look, the cardigan look still to this day is yeah. very cute very girly but this skirt though you guys <laughs> you can do better it's not good it's not a good no, skirt. i can see my left kidney it's literally a halloween costume and outfit. it's so short i thought it was a tube top at first <laughs> i was like bridget was confused when she ordered this because this is the tube top <laughs> look and not like i feel so uncomfortable i literally want to run away i love when erin hates something because i feel like she's she likes a lot so i love when you hate it i hate it so i just feel like judged like i feel like i'm in high school and like you I'm about to start my period for the first time. <laughs> what f up school did you go to? <laughs> Do you have something you need to talk about? All right, you guys, up next we have this little sexy number. Um, this was sort of supposed to be like the most out there movie costume dress, and we are all serving some chicken vibes. <laughs> I hate this, like this is so not me. This yeah. is like too in your face, like, look at me, look at me. I hate these shoes. I'm prepared to fall, so I'm just gonna stand very still. I love this. You do? <laughs> You do it very sexy in black. I love it. I think it's literally when I was like in the 90s, there was a show called Clarissa Explains It For All. Sure. I think it was in that show, she or someone in that show wore something like this, and I was like, my dream dress. <laughs> and I've never owned anything like it, but I'm like, so happy to be in this Who right now. that Fashion Nova would give you your dream? Well, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's a dream. Maybe you could dream even bigger. I love this. I think it's fun. I yeah. think it's, you have to wear it with the confidence and the personality to wear it. Like, I think if you're just kind of like me, it's gonna look like that Literally. when you walk into the room. But if you're like, oh yeah, I feel great. I feel good. Like, you have to own this look and these shoes. I like it. Listen, you look great. We all, in the 90s and early 2000s, we all had at least one item of clothing that had some sort of weird, sure. wasn't necessarily fur. I don't know what it is, but it is so uncomfortable. I hated it back then. I still hate it now. Yeah. I think this dress could be fun with different shoes. Uh, like to me, the shoes are too on the nose. Like I feel like a baby prostitute. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. All right, you guys, this is our wild card round. So we'll start with mine. These shorts, you guys are so random. They're massive. I did not know Ooh. that they were going to be so freaking long and oh, huge. I like them. Oh, you like them better like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, they're a little too long for me. Like they're just a little too big, but they're that kind of fun asymmetrical look from earlier. They're ripped. And then this top I thought was really cute. It was like definitely got the freaking butterfly, butterfly, it's butterfly, big, butterfly. Mm -hmm. So Mariah Carey, very pop star. It's cropped. It's got like a semi strap situation going. And then I threw over this cute little 90s like oversized flannel. I just thought that made it look like really grunge, really fun. And then I paired it with a knee high boot. We're just keeping it crazy today. Is that flannel from Fashion Over? Is yeah. that just yours? No, Fashion Isn't that Over. really cute? I like that. Yeah. The flannel with these boots and maybe like some shorter shorts. Yeah. something like a little tank top. The 90s and the 2000s, 
nowadays when you try to do it all together sometimes it looks a little fake and weird and right, like inauthentic right. and not really yeah. our style anymore but if you pull pieces from the 90s and you're inspired by the 90s i think that's really when it hits better right yeah. should we just go on to you now with the hat and the outfit i mean up to you guys we really don't have to talk about it madeline picked the clothes in this video <laughs> no 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 i'm about to say something nice she's like that's it <laughs> I actually have liked every single round of this whole video, and I love that you picked something weird AF for me for this wild card. Wild card rounds are supposed to be weird. They're supposed to be fun, different, quirky, and I like that about this. This hat is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'm literally the lamest girl in school. I got her options, you guys. I got them all <laughs> options, so you have to hear all their You did this to yourself. Okay, so this light stitching is very, very 90s, I think. This yeah. is a big thing. I don't think it looks that good. It's giving like almost a country western vibe yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. But like, do you remember this? It was yeah. like a thing that was like around for a hot minute. Um, the oversized t-shirt dress, it says tour. London, Paris, New York. Obviously, band tees were a big thing, yeah. and anything like those, that like grungier stuff. I think this is a, this is like fine. It takes a lot of inspiration. It still kind of feels like very, um, like 2000s. Let me see without this shirt, shock it, because it's like covering you up too much. The dress is a little long. The dress is very long. I don't mind that though. I, love it. I don't mind that though. I actually don't mind it no, at I all. I kind of like that look on it. you. You know what make it really long. good? If you put the thing over, over your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, let me pull it Aaron's in. favorite <laughs> hobby. <laughs> The only thing I don't like, I don't really like these boots. I don't really feel like these are very 90s. There's something about them that doesn't feel very 90s. I think boots looked a lot different in the 90s, to be honest with you. So, but I, it's fine. I, I think it's cute to take a look, little uh, bits of inspiration. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Fashion Nova kind of dipped their toe in the 90s, but they definitely still landed somewhere in like a questionable era of it. Like, I don't feel like this is super authentic 90s. I think they definitely were just trying to like throw 90s at it. Yeah, because I do think if you could pick one or two pieces from each of these rounds, and incorporate it into your wardrobe. Yeah. I think it would still have like a 90s flair without being too on the nose.